I'm still like torn about the situation. <laughs> but another thing I hate about lesbians, we ship each other like ah second day. You get what I'm saying? Like you talk to somebody for a day and a half, you know, you have a little sex, second day, you know. I, you at my crib about three to four days later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then boom, we in a relationship in a week. This shit crazy. That's that's lesbian lifestyle. What the fuck, bro? Huh? What the hoes do? Yeah. Nick, you can't rap. Huh? I already know. Yeah. Nick is hating on me. That's a good joke. Uh, Five, four, three, two, that's What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. I need y'all to go subscribe to my people, Adrian and India. They are a lesbian couple. Y'all already know how I feel about my lesbian couples. You know what I'm saying? They currently have 224 subscribers. Um, they do reaction videos, challenges, pranks, and more. And they look funny as hell as well. You know what I'm saying? So I need y'all to make sure you definitely subscribe to them. They currently have 224 subscribers. Let's go ahead and get them to a stack today. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna hurt nothing. You know what I'm saying? Completely free. You feel me? Ain't gonna charge no debit card or nothing. Okay? Subscribe to these people. You get what I'm saying? Uh, give them something to smile about today. And you know you did a good deed. And do it for me. If you love me, do it for me. You understand? Before we get to this video, I also want to say that uh, this video is very long-winded. Yesterday I was having a terrible day, okay? I'm back to normal today. I'm still in Florida, but I'm back to normal today. Uh, so, enjoy the, the uh, what's it called? The animations in this video, because I was having a bad day. All right, let's get it. Poor Neek. Poor, poor Neek. Do you know I'm already getting labeled as being biased already? And I haven't even reacted to the damn video. Whose video? Chrissy's video. Do you know her video is an hour and 21 minutes? Y'all know I don't even like 30 minute videos. Because I have to react to it and commentate. So then, that makes my video an hour. Okay? Two hours. <coughs> this right here is going to be a three-part series. But, just because I've been in Florida, still in Florida. I came here last Thursday. Today is Tuesday. Okay? Been in Florida. Haven't been able to touch a computer or a camera yet. I'm already by it. Poor Nick. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And oh my God, it's been a lot of bullshit going on, okay? I, I feel the way I look, okay? I'm going to be very, 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 very uh, transparent with y'all. Very transparent with y'all. Um, You may hear somebody talking in the background. I'm sorry, I'm at a hotel. For one, I don't know what happened. And Chris's video yet? I have no idea. I haven't watched it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to get that out of the way. Okay? Apparently, obviously she's talking about Damo and the breakup or whatever three months later. And <clears throat> the fact that it's three months later, I just honestly wish she would have kept it. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all going to think and say I'm biased anyway. So, I, I'm just going to do as I normally do. And give my honest opinion on what the fuck Chrissy talking about, bro. And that's just it. We about to get to it because ain't nothing to it but the damn do. Alright? That lady wasn't loud at all until I cut this camera off. <coughs> By the way, I broke my lens today. Yep, that one that's on you guys right now, I just bought it. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to go ahead and calm my nerves, okay? Cut on the screen record. Tori is in Florida minding her business. And she um is doing what Tori do. Okay. I got to react to this video. This video got to be out. Okay. So that's what I'ma do. Y'all give me a second. I'm grown. I'm, I'm in Florida, you know what I'm saying? And I'm grown again. And I need to have me a drink. Okay. And who cares about a little glass? Drink the whole damn bottle, okay? I'm classy with it today. You see, my wet. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop this. 
Yes. That is crazy that that happened. Ah, this never happens to me. Yeah, that pretty much sums up how my day been going today. Ah, get comfortable. All right, Kristen, let me hear this shit. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Hey, Chan. Today. Today. Today is the day. I want y'all to know the what I really feel about this is uh she might be running a little low on cash so she had to put this video out because uh this type of video right here that's an hour and 21 minutes that i know everybody paid attention to got her a good bag you hear me today today's the day y'all today's the day that i talk about my truth my experience for the past three years before i start off this video mm -hmm. do y'all like my hair no i'm stuck it but i did get some new products and i kind of like how it looks right now before i start off this video i do want to say that the things that i'm going to say i am not trying to slander anybody i'm oh, just girl, trying bye. to speak from my experience oh. and my thoughts in this experience show proof of things that i can show proof of i just feel like this video is so long overdue and it is 2019 and i said before that i was going to stop talking about it in 2019 but i feel like it is eating me alive it's making me go crazy i see things online about me and i see lies and, and it makes me really upset and sad and i feel like me talking about this and expressing it to the world i will have like this really big weight lifted off of my shoulders mm -hmm. so <laughs> i'm going to talk about my experience with my ex-girlfriend and this is just from my point of view and my mind what i'm saying some of it i will have proof for some of it will just be what i say and if you do not believe me then that's fine but i just know that this is my truth and i feel like at this point i owe it to the whole world because i'm tired of people just painting me as this person that i'm not and i'm so I, I want to say this. Um, I've realized age make, makes a huge difference, especially with money. Oh, my God. <coughs> um, but baby girl should have talked about this maybe three months ago. You get what I'm saying? She should have she, yeah, she should have hollered at us about this about three months ago. And honestly, I think everybody would be okay. Yep. If she would just tell the truth, be transparent, let everybody know what's going on for real, would have dropped that shit right then and there. I don't think it would be that bad. But when you let people, when you let somebody else create their narrative and then you don't say anything and you just go off that narrative, then it's like, what else is anybody supposed to think? You know what I'm saying? So. No, I'm not. So let's get it started. First, I'm going to talk about when we first met. So we met at Olive Garden. If you did not know, um, I used to work at Olive Garden. I worked there for about maybe six, seven months before we know. met. You know, like four to six months before we met, I was a hostess at the front desk, and she came in there with one of her best friends that I knew when I was younger from my best friend. So they came in there together. I guess this is what I was told. Um, she told my ex that like there was this fine ass girl that she used to know, or that she knows that works at Olive Garden, and she wants to go see her, which was. <gasps> me i guess she wasn't trying to go because she didn't really like olive garden but she went anyways and when she first walked in the hostess were on the headset like saying hey chrissy someone's here to see you and i was like at first i just assumed it was my mom because i was like who else is gonna come see me so i walked up there and seen her friend and her so i was like confused on why they were there because i seen her best friend come in before but we didn't, we didn't talk like i was like I just seen her and texted my best friend like look who i just seen blah 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 but and i didn't even notice my ex at all like i literally just looked past her i was just like that's her friend with her like i didn't even budge to look i sat them Ooh. at that table i ain't even budge to look damn that was shady and i left i went to the front desk and i'm just sitting there and everybody's asking me oh my gosh is that her is that her is that her because at that time she was facebook famous and i didn't know her i really did not know her i probably seen like a video on vine but you know like i'm not like you're just scrolling looking at videos you're not paying attention to who they are but i don't really like to my knowledge remember ever seeing her so i didn't know who she was so everybody was like on her nuts and over there and blah 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 so i'm just over there like talking to them because i knew her friend and i was just talking to her friend and then i introduced myself to her because i thought she was cute blah 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 she had asked my co-worker for my number i gave it to him to give to her 
So when I gave her the number, they were about to leave, and she was like, oh my gosh, I want you to come outside and see my car. Like, she kept wanting me to come see her car, and I was confused. Because when I was sick, I was definitely sick that day. I will never forget. I was sick. And two, I didn't know her, so I wasn't about to just go outside with her. So I just was like, no. She told me she was going to text me when she left. So when she left, she texted me and was basically like, hey, you want to chill tonight, blah, blah, blah. And I was really, like, sick. And if you know me by now... When I'm sick, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't want to do nothing. I want to be in the bed all day. So, like, Woo. and I started work. This is exactly why I didn't want to react to this video. Like, I could deal with about 12 to 15 minutes of Chrissy, and I can entertain y'all. I can help her entertain the video and stuff like that. But, Lord have mercy. Get to the point. I can't skip it or nothing. Jesus. So I just would go straight from work to home. Oh, and I was like, no, I really don't feel like it. So she's like, add me on Facebook, add me on Instagram, I'm like blah, blah, blah. I really didn't know who she was. So then when I seen her shit, I'm like, like, she's famous. What the fuck? Like, because she didn't, you know, she didn't really, she didn't really act famous. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't get how someone can act famous. But still, like, I didn't know that she was that known. Like, you should I get how somebody can act famous and she actually does not act famous at all. And like people be calling me famous, I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not. I can't. Like, unless you a rapper, like these rappers, they really, really, really lose their whole piece of humble. But I think it's because of their character, I guess. You know what I'm saying? They're they're no longer themselves. They have to be some other nigga. You know what I'm saying? To be really popular, I guess. But she don't act uh, famous at all. She probably wanted her to. You know what I'm saying? at her on Facebook, Instagram, whatever the fuck, to show her that she's famous like girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get with you. Go look, go check, go <laughs> go check me out. See who I am. You know what I'm saying? Chris was like So uh, then we were like hanging okay. out all the time while I wasn't working. I'd wait for her to text me. She would take forever to me back. I want her to call me. She would take forever to do that too. I was just hella thirsty to be with her because I liked her a lot. Like I just felt like I wanted to be with her all the time. I might Okay, she just skipped over a lot of shit. First, you wasn't paying her no damn attention. Then, you, you, uh, what'd she say? She pretty much just wanted her to see her car or whatever. Then she realized that she was, I guess, famous or whatever. Now I want to be around you a lot. On my <laughs> birthday, she took me shopping. She took me to the mall. She picked me and my best friend up. And we went out to eat. And then we went to the mall. And she got me a pair of shoes. And then she got me a birthday cake and some balloons and stuff. And then after that, she dropped us back off and just went about her day. So yeah, like I said, I wanted to be with her all the time. And I lived with my mom. I was 19 years old. Well, I was 18 when I met her, but 18, 19. And I lived with my mom in the basement of my mom's house. Um, I was raised there from birth. So it's not like I like moved out and came back because I couldn't pay my bills or whatever. Like I was still like I was just consistently living. I was just there. Like that was the house I grew up in. So I moved into the basement because the basement room was bigger and that's when I smoked weed and I didn't want her to know that I smoked. So I would be in the basement smoking out the window. I still have the job at Olive Garden and everything. She would take me to go get my nails done. She did buy me a couple purses like from Forever Twenty One or whatever. Which I <laughs> Dumb boy ain't tricking if you got it, you me. <laughs> I, I think Damo was trying to, I don't want to say buy her. I just think she was trying to, you know, win her over. You know, when you got money, I, you young shit. I know I did it. You know what I'm saying? To at least, I know you feel like you got to treat somebody. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what she was doing. I appreciate and I, I, it. I'm not if I was Christy, I would have accepted all of the gifts. Okay? I say that like. What she did wasn't, like, good enough because anything she did was good enough. She did used to do a lot of stuff for me. And we I know. definitely appreciated that. My mom didn't make me pay any bills or anything, so all my money kind of just went to whatever. Shout like, out to mom. Anything. That's I when wish. I smoked weed. So most of the time I went to weed. But I did have my own money. I didn't have any bills. So I enjoyed staying with my mom. I never lived in poverty. Um, my mom took very good care of me. If you guys did not see my video before, she, um did work she did work two jobs for a long time until i was about like 13 14 15 i don't remember the exact age i was she ended up getting a supervisor position at costco so she ended up just having to work one job but i never lived like struggling i never lived like i was um the term poor like i never had problems i had clothes i had shoes like i had stuff like 
I think she's trying to let it be known that she wasn't going without. So it's not like she really needed Damo. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, people on the Internet create narratives that don't even. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we all think that um, she. She fell in love with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody can tell me that you meet somebody. They're technically famous. They got a lot of money. You young, they young. You get what you want. That that you're not going to jump on the opportunity. Cease the opportunity. You get what I'm saying? That's what she did. So, do I think that she was wrong for that? No, I don't. I just think that she was young. And shit. I mean, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if Damo out here buying stuff, then you know it is what it is. I'm not about to turn down a gift. My grandma always told me, take it and say thank you. You know, it don't matter what it is. So, um, yeah, I don't think that she was in poverty or anything anyway. I just think that, you know, she she fell in love with what was going on. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't clearly everything I wanted, but I appreciated everything I got from my mom, my sister, my dad. Everybody in my family just had a big part on my life, and I never struggled. So I never would sit here and say that I was struggling or saying that my mom was so broke and blah, blah, blah. blah. She never needed help for nothing. She never needed from nobody. She never asked nobody for no money. I don't know. She just never needed help with anything. So she was living fine. I was making my own money, getting my own shit. So yeah. Once I met her, um, she didn't let me go to her house for like seven months into our relationship. Well, into us talking. The first time she ever let me go to her house was after she took me to Indianapolis's Pride. So once she brought me to her house, we ended up moving like seven two months. months after I seen that house and she moved like seven months and that's your house <laughs> if i was chrissy i would have been cut her ass off you're not about to let me not see your house for seven months can you imagine she was probably asking all the time like can i come to your house <laughs> to Chesterton, Indiana. I always wanted to be around her and that's when I was living with my mom, like I said. So I just quit my job because I wanted to be with her all the time. I'm gonna just be blunt and say it. Yeah, I quit my job because I didn't want to be there. I didn't like it because the manager sucked ass. Like they were just rude and disrespectful and I hate managers like that. Like, I understand like you're above me, but I don't like you can at least treat me like a human. Um, my managers would always like pick on me and like, and I did my job really good. Like, I was definitely a good worker. I was there damn near seven days out the week. So, like, I was always there. And there was only specific managers. I'm not going to say all the managers, but there were specific. So, in this video, I'm going to be damned if I do, damned if I don't anyway. Because I feel where she's coming from on that. And it's like, I, I'm that friend that, not even that friend because she's not my friend. I'm that person that sees both sides of things. That's just who I am. Okay? And if I feel strongly about something, I'm going to let it be known. Now, if I'm talking to a girl or a dude who is famous and who got money, obviously, who, who look out for me or whatever, I'm going to quit too. You get what I'm saying? Also, you know, I never like jobs. I never could keep a job because I don't like the way uh, managers disrespect me. So, I can completely relate with this. I see where she's coming from. She's not going to say, Damo was taking care of me, so I, <laughs> I just decided to quit. But all the other stuff is not like that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Her. The managers that used to just pick on me and I didn't really like it so I ended up quitting and it kind of pushed me more to quit because I met her and I just wanted to be around her all the time and I also wanted to be at her house most of the time because there was some stuff going on in my house that I don't need to explain to you guys but there was some stuff going on um, at my house and I just didn't like to be there so then I ended up being at her house all the time I had my own little closet with my clothes in it and stuff every time we get into it I'd pack it all and put it in the car and then we'd get right back home and I'd get my stuff out the car and take it back to the house but me staying with her all the time had nothing to do with like my mom struggling or being broke or anything like that. It just had to do with other things. So let's get on to the... The <sighs> mess. Girl, get to the so mess. I don't really have proof on this. Um, I do have proof that she confirmed it though. <clears throat> Did Damo really cheat on Chrissy? That's what I'm thinking. I wrote, a I wrote and recorded this song in 2015. I'm just now making a video for it. So to answer your question, yes. In 2015 might do a story time on it okay. so i would definitely be putting that on the screen um while i'm talking about it did cheat on me when um well i'm not going to consider this cheating because technically we weren't together we were dating but we were like in a physical like real relationship we were just dating which i don't really get the difference but because i call it talking 
Like when you're just like messing with somebody but not in a relationship, but that's because everybody has thrown relationships into situationships and technically the situationship is a relationship and it don't make any fucking sense. Like if y'all was talking and y'all was not together, I feel like, you know, if I if we not in a relationship, I could do what the fuck I want. But this new generation is just like, bruh, the first day when I get your number after we go out to eat, after we have sex, and I spend the night over your house three times or more, you my girlfriend. You can't cheat. Uh, you can't mess with nobody else. We go together. You ain't cheating. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if y'all wasn't together, if y'all were not in a relationship, then nobody cheat on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Period. <laughs> Some people call it dating. So I'm going to just say dating. So yeah, we were dating and around July, she had called me one day and basically said that she was cheating on me. Um, well, not cheating on me. Like I said, not cheating on me, but cheating on me. Cheating, but not cheating. She told she me that she was still messing with somebody her else. Ex. She said she was still having sex with her ex. She was still with her ex all the time. She told me about when she went to Disney World with her. She told me when she was going to Disney World that she was going with her family and she didn't want to be on the phone and stuff mm. while she was out there. I just believed her and I just thought that she was going out there with her family. But then when she told me that she cheated on me, she told me that she took her ex to Disney World with her ex's niece and they flew back to Indiana to drop off the niece because I guess the niece was like acting up or something. And then she stayed for a couple of days. I seen her one of those days that she was there and then she got up and went to California to go to Universal Studios with her ex. And yeah, so that was happening from February to July-ish, or June, July, I don't know. So in the beginning, Damo was being a player, player. She like, bro, we don't really go together anyway, so I'm gonna do what I wanna do, and I'm gonna lie and tell you I'm with somebody else. Hey, that, that just sound like typical date shit to me. Cause like, I mean, for real, me? Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna tell you the truth. If I don't wanna lose you, and I'm what, 18, 19, then, I'm probably not going to tell you the truth. But me at uh, the age that I am, y'all thought I was going to slip up. And I did. <laughs> the age that I am, I'm going to let you know. Baby, first of all, we don't go together. Second of all, um, I'm going with her because we don't go together. You get what I'm saying? And by the time I come back, if you ain't fucking with me, then you just not. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. But I'm the age that I am. You know, they, they were younger. So, you know, it don't make it right. She hurt her feelings. She shouldn't have lied. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. And this video is going off of whatever Chrissy is saying, you know. If Damo make a video, I'm going to react to that and go off of what Damo was saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the exact dates. I only say February because that's when we met and that was in the beginning of our relationship. Start starting shit. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so then that was the first time she ever told me um, that she did anything foul to me. After that, she kept telling me she was torn between me and her ex because her and her ex had, like, history. And they were together for, like, six or seven years and all mm -hmm. that crap that... I didn't really care about it at the time and then I had ended up calling her best friend and talking to her about it and her best friend was like you need to stay with her you need to um get her out of that situation because everybody like everybody knew that her ex was toxic well they were toxic for each other I don't know but everybody knew that her ex was toxic so they were trying to basically like get me to stay so then she wouldn't have to deal with her ex anymore so what did I do I stayed Chap I shit. Stayed with her after that. I honestly, like, was hurt. I was still, like, torn about the situation. But <laughs> Another thing I hate about lesbians, we ship each other, like, ah, second day. You get what I'm saying? Like, you talk to somebody for a day and a half. You know, you have a little sex, second day, you know. I, you at my crib about three, four days later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, boom, we in a relationship in a week. This shit crazy. That's, that's lesbian lifestyle. It's stupid. <laughs> But I honestly just put it to the side and just kept trusting her. Like, and I feel like the trust that I gave her had to do with her coming forward and telling me, which a lot of people don't do. But I thought that was actually like a good thing, even though it was bad what she did. I thought it was a good thing that she told me the truth and um, did tell me instead of me not finding out or whatever. Because there was other things like that happened. That Wait, so did she tell you the truth or did you just find that? Because you just said that. Um, I guess she, she had found out pretty much that she went to, um, she went to Disney World or whatever, or Damo ended up telling her late she lied to her. I don't know. Yeah, I would notice that we're like sneaky and stuff. So, which I can't really think of nothing, but I just know there was like a couple things. Like after she told me that, I was just like thinking of all this stuff like, wow, so that makes sense. I forgave her and I kind of just moved past the situation and 
Yeah, but all that happened why we weren't dating. We weren't official yet because that was around like July of 2015. So then okay. she asked me out on September 15th, 2015. Um, I was really excited. I was happy. I was not expecting it at all. It was filmed. We were doing like a Q&A or something. She asked me out. It was all good from there. Like she took me to California for the first time in like years, which I appreciated so much. And then a month later um, in October on Sweetest Day, she went to Fort Wayne with her best friend to for like a couple days or something like her best friend wanted to meet up with some guy or something when they mm -hmm. went out there they came back from fort wayne on sweetest day i didn't see her all day two I days then what's she saying my house to say hi so when she came over she dropped me off some sweetest day gifts sweetest um, day had, like a card and like some shoes and like a pink outfit or something i was actually not expecting that at all i just kind of just wanted to see her because i didn't see her for a couple days mm -hmm. and then she left i asked her if i could come over and she didn't want me to come over and i was like confused on why she didn't want me to come over but I didn't really ask too any questions. I think she just said she was tired or something. I'm not sure on that. But I just know that she wouldn't let me come over. So the next day I wake up and I'm just walking around the house chilling, blah, blah, blah. And she texts me and was basically like, I cheated on you. Oh, and shit. I was like, I thought she was joking. I was just like, okay, whatever. And she's like, no, seriously. like, Lord. So I'm like. She cheated for so pissed. I'm so pissed. She told me that when her best friend went to sleep, she left the house and went to meet up with her ex and they had sex. So at that point, I was just like done because I already dealt with the shit before. And that time, we were already in a relationship. And I'm like, I don't care to deal with this. And my mom's like, no, you need to talk to her. Like, you need to go. This must have been one of them exes she couldn't let go. I don't know her ex. I don't know nothing about her ex. Um, So if y'all could explain. Like you know was well who was her ex you know what i'm saying um that's number one and number two you know once again i'm going off of what chrissy's saying at that point that's cheating you know what I'm saying? If, she, if she was with her you know if they were together you know what i'm saying in a relationship and she went off and cheated then you know that's what she did she cheated over there talk to her and tell her how you feel and i don't really remember like what the excuse was like why she did it i think she just did it because they were still in this little thing that they were in whatever i don't know Chad, they were still in love puppy damn love okay they were still in love Chad. i got over that we talked about it blah 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 and i got over it again i'm assuming because she told me the truth and she told me right then and there so after that it was around like in between october and november I don't know exact dates. She told me one day to meet her at her house at 11 p.m. I mm -hmm. didn't see her all day, and I was like, I really want to see you. I know, she's like, meet me at the house at 11. So I was like, okay. So then I pull up right at 11, because before that, she wasn't answering my phone calls. She was just acting really off and weird. So I was like, all right, I'm about to pull up at 11. And I literally pulled up at 11, and I seen a light sort of in the house. So then I go oh, to the door, I'm knocking the door, and I'm like, okay, she's not here. So then I'm calling her, texting her, calling her, texting her. So then she answers the phone and I was like, where are you at? And she's like, I'm on my way. And I was like, where were you at? She's like, I'm on my way. Like, she wouldn't tell me where she was at. But then after that, when she pulled up, she told me, she's like, I didn't talk to you. Because I was like, where were you? Like, Girl, if you say like, Damo cheated again, I'm going to feel like you lying. <laughs> God damn. Like, just, really? But first of all, Chrissy, why you kept taking her back if that's the case? You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times she got to cheat on you, girl? I mean, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? She told me she was at her grandma's house, um, mind you. She told me that she was at her grandma's house before that. So when she pulled up, I'm like, where were you? Because you weren't at your grandma's house. Because why were you answering my phone? Like, that makes no sense. So then she proceeded to tell me that she went to her best friend's house because her best friend said she wanted to talk to her. And her ex pulled up and they ended up talking and her ex kissed her. That's what she said. So then, like I said, again, after this, <laughs> we talked about her, I got over it. <laughs> I don't understand why y'all keep you kept talking about it and getting over it. I would have dumped Damo's ass. Now, this is the thing. Once again, you young and you got somebody you messing with. And A, you knew she wasn't over her ex. Because I mean, how many times she got to cheat on you? That's number one. But number two, you also knew she wasn't over her ex. And you know you chose to stay and continue to deal with that shit. You know? So it's like. Like, whose fault is this here? I mean, both of them were wrong because obviously Chrissy could have just left, you know? I wouldn't have kept putting up with that. But obviously, if money's involved and all that, it just it just makes things different. So, okay. That was the last time that I know of that she cheated on me. I don't... If she cheated on me after that, I didn't know. I'm not saying she did, 
but I'm just saying if she did, I didn't know. Now we're going to talk about her trying to get pregnant. So the first time she ever tried to get pregnant, I was 19 years old. We were kind of like back and forth on who was going to get pregnant because I was kind of like for it. But I was for it for the wrong reasons. Like, I don't really think I was for it. I think I just wanted to make her happy. Because Girl, you wouldn't. I physically didn't get pregnant because I kind of didn't at the time. I just wanted to do it because I loved her. We didn't have a YouTube together or anything. I don't even think I was really on her social media like that. I feel like we had an Instagram, but I'm not sure. So I don't want to, like, say that was a fact, but that's just an assumption. But like I said, it's like I wanted to do it, but I didn't. And I kind of just wanted to do it for the wrong reason. So we ended up, like, just deciding she was going to do it. And at that time, honestly, I wasn't really for it. Like, I was, like... Like, some days I'd be for it, and some days I wouldn't. So, it was, like, weird. Like, I just didn't really want to, like, participate, but then... I'm glad she being honest about that. That's why she cracking them knuckles. She ain't, wanna, she ain't want no baby. And you know what? She ain't wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? She's not wrong for not wanting a child. Okay? I wouldn't want one neither. You know, if, if that's what Damo wanted to do, you know, Damo said that in her video that she gave Chrissy the ultimatum to stay with her or not now i don't know if she's gonna say this but she did say she gave her that option and if you decided well it sounded like she she decided to 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 go along with that then that's where she shouldn't have if she really did not want a child or if she just really didn't want to have the child then that's different then i wanted to be with her so i was kind of selfish on that part she did tell me from the beginning of our relationship that she wanted a kid um at first, she wasn't really vocal on when she wanted a kid. She just said she wanted a kid soon. So, and I was taking a kid soon, as in like in a couple of years. I don't know. I just didn't take it how she meant it. And we were like, we just got together at that point. Like, it was September of our relationship, and she's trying to get pregnant with that. Like, a couple months after that. She also mm. told me that if I didn't want to be in the relationship, um, or if I didn't want to be in the baby's life, to just leave. And I loved her. And I just decided I would stay. Okay. But like I said, I really wasn't for it, which is kind of like selfish. She didn't really tell me much on the situation. She wouldn't keep me updated on anything, which I wouldn't ask. But, you know, it, it just wasn't being talked about. And that's when she lived in Chesterton. Um, so we weren't living together or anything. Or one day I think she just told me like she was just trying to get pregnant. She got inseminated and wanted to see how it went. So then she posted this video about her having a miscarriage. I didn't really know about the situation. I didn't really know anything, honestly. I didn't know... Like, if there was a baby, if there wasn't a baby, I really wasn't, like, kept up to date on that situation. Every time she See, she didn't want a baby, and Damo really wanted a baby. <laughs> That's where the separation should have happened. Well, the separation should have happened when Chrissy kept getting cheated on, if she was getting cheated on, you know what I'm saying? But, also, if she said that she wanted a baby, and you say you pretty much really don't want one, you know what I'm saying? Now... I can't, I'm not going to keep you up to date because I feel like you don't even want the baby anyway. So I'm going to just do what I want to do because this this is what I want. You know what I'm saying? And I can't even say that's selfish on Damo part because if I want something, I'm going to get it. You know? But Chrissy could have just deaded it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, wait. I'm only, you know what I'm saying? I'm only 19. Like, I don't, I don't want a baby. You know what I'm saying? And let that be known and be like, bro, no. Nah, I, I can't do this. Granted, it's hard to walk away from, from a person who is who they are you know what i'm saying um so i'm not about to sit here and act like it was easy or nothing i'm just saying like but if you really if she was dead serious you really know she was about to do it well grant she just said that let me keep listening she record video she wanted me to leave so like I, when the video was recorded i wasn't there mm -hmm. um so i didn't really know anything that was going on so she posted that video and i kind of just like felt sympathy for her because i didn't know like she was like, I don't know, it was just weird. Like, I didn't really know anything. She posted that video. I don't really know if there's a miscarriage or not. Um, I just know that she posted the video and then deleted it. And I went off that video and just assumed that she wasn't pregnant. And I was there for her. I was supporting her. I was defending her every day when people were talking shit about her, saying that she was lying and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I just really wasn't, like, there. I didn't really know anything about it. Like, every time she'd go to the hospital, I never really knew. One time, her best friend just texted me and just said, like, she was sick. And I'm pretty sure that's when the picture was posted of her when she was in the hospital. But yeah, she just like texted me and said she was sick. Her best friend really wouldn't give me any information even though I was already her girlfriend. Um, she wouldn't tell me what hospital they were at or nothing. Like she just didn't want me to know anything. But yeah, that was my experience on that. So mm. Christmas came around. So Christmas came around and I made her this book because like I said, I didn't really have money to buy her anything. So I made her this book and I put like pictures of us in it and put like little memories and cute stuff in it. And then she gave me $100. She gave me a necklace. She gave me like five pair of shoes because I remember like, Balling because she gave me that many shoes. I was really appreciative over it, and I, I 
one thing that i did like is that she taught me how to be more appreciative or at least voice it because i didn't voice it a lot so she actually taught me like oh i hate that oh i hate a person like that who don't voice like they appreciate you a lot of people around here doing shit that they don't have to do for others you get what i'm saying and it's just like if you appreciate somebody let them know you know that shit is free that shit is so free just to say you know thank you Girl, I ain't had a pair of shoes in years. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. You know? That shit's simple. Do all those things because I really didn't notice that I didn't do that before. But now that I'm looking back at it, I do notice that I didn't say thank you enough. Um, I did say thank you for those gifts. But I'm just like speaking in general for anything she did for me. Like if like she bought me food or got my nails done or took me to the movies, she would just expect a thank you back. And sometimes I wouldn't say it even though I was appreciative. Mm -hmm. After Christmas, she decided she wanted to move to California. I don't remember why. I think she wanted to do acting. I think, I'm pretty sure she wanted to do acting. So she wanted to move to California so she can have more opportunities. Because, you know, California is a place for that. So when she moved to Cali, I wanted to be out there with her. But I couldn't because I didn't have the money to fly back and forth. So my mom would honestly buy my tickets all the time. I'm pretty sure she bought, like, one of my tickets and asked for my mom to pay her back or i probably told her my mom was gonna pay her back like i'm not gonna say she expected it but um my mom paid for all my tickets to go out there except for one of them one of her fans actually bought me a ticket out there so i could go spend time with her and that apartment was actually in my name because she couldn't put in her name because of you know clearly why she couldn't put in her name i was kind of like skeptical to put my name on it because that was like the first big thing my name was gonna be on like i had credit cards and stuff but like i never had like something that big on my credit so like i was nervous but i did it because i wanted to be her i feel like if i was being a supportive girlfriend i would do something like that for my significant other when first of all <coughs> if you ain't flying me back and forth i ain't put my name on shit now granted if she was buying all this other stuff then uh i mean obviously you owe or something <laughs> but it's just kind of like, I wish, child, I, I like when two people drop videos, you know what I'm saying? So I can state my piece. This is what I've been saying, like, Chrissy, come out with your truth. Like, why are you not, why are you not telling your truth? It don't make sense to not tell your truth to me, you know what I'm saying? That that only makes sense. So now you come out with this three months later, and it's just kind of like, <sighs> you know? But, child, okay. When I was out there with her, I told her, she told me basically if you want to move in with me, you have to find a job and help me pay. So I was like trying to find jobs. I teach her a lesson. No one would hire me. Literally no one would hire me. Like I was getting so frustrated. Like we lived right by, um, what's that place called? Fig at 7th or something like that. We lived right by there. And I tried all those stores over there. I tried to work at Universal Studios. No one would hire me. No one would hire me, bro. Like no one would hire me. So then like I just decided, okay, well, I'm just going to go back. Indiana. Facts. At that time, we were like already getting into it every day. Like seriously, every day I was there, we would get into it. Um, just about small things. I think it was just us being around each other for too long, and I couldn't like lesbian was shit. Nowhere, like I would at Indiana. So when I went back to Indiana, I was looking for jobs. That's right. And like I said, no one would hire me. So it was either her or me that like said something about being a stripper, and she didn't mind. Like she didn't care. She was all for it. So, but I'm not going to really explain that story. Um, I, I didn't you. make a story time on it. So if you want to go see that, I will link it up above. Yeah, and that just didn't work out clearly. If you watch the video, you'll be able to tell that it didn't work out. So then I went back to California. When I went back to California, um, it was around January and I just couldn't find a job. And she said something about us making a YouTube together. I, I was about to say, why you ain't just make your own YouTube channel? I don't know. Everybody don't think like that. I hear recently everybody wanted a YouTube channel because in the beginning, I mean, I didn't know anything about YouTube to really be like, bro, let's start a channel. Like, I didn't know anything about it. So at the time, did not know that she'd get paid on YouTube because she wasn't getting paid. I don't think she was getting paid off YouTube. I'm not sure. But I just know she was getting paid from Facebook. That's what she was okay. getting paid from. So my intentions with like making the YouTube channel, I just thought it was fun because I'd always see her make videos or like I'd be in videos with her. I thought it'd be a fun experience. But then she told me we could make money off of it, and I was like, oh, shh. okay, no job, no more. Too. So yeah. we made our YouTube. She promoted it on all her social medias, and it ended up getting like 100k subscribers in like less than a month, which I thought was crazy. I didn't even. I'll tell you, I did not know nothing about any of this. So then, like, one day, I don't remember what happened specifically. I think I, I just decided to go back home because we just kept getting into it. And when I went back home, 
we had gotten into this really big fight and we broke up. If any of y'all are watching that knew us back then, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We broke up um, back in 2015. It was horrible. It was kind that of was like so now. Actually, it was like very similar to now. She was just online talking about me, saying all these bad things about me. Um, I was actually doing it too though like i was i was saying stuff about her just like she was doing about me and just saying like the same crap like that i was using her i was only with her for the fame and the money and blah blah, blah. I, wasn't, I don't even think at the time i was making money mind you all my social medias were private well i'm not gonna say they were private but they were standing at the same position